Hello everyone, this is ASM Arif today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how to edit an outdoor portrait. Okay, let's see. Uh, I downloaded outdoor portrait from the deviantart.com and this one is the outdoor portrait. Uh, already I had this type of tutorial um, in last year but uh, uh, that tutorial had no voice that's why some of my fans just requested me to give this type of tutorial again that's why I'm making this one so uh, just I'm at first uh, select this one and uh, this portion and make it crop by pressing the crop tool and press C from the keyboard press enter and okay you'll get a cropped a portion of this one okay what should I do at first I'll cut this picture out from the background by pressing uh, our quick selection tool and the pen tool and uh, here I'll use the pen tool press ctrl J for the another new layer and take pen tool I'm just selecting from here okay I'm going forward Okay, after that uh, press the right button and make selection and hit the ok button and uh, just go to the select option and press the select and mask option from the select and mask option I'll refine uh, the edges those are just like that okay. the setup will be uh, if you give the smart reduce and make it like that make it smooth and it will take auto uh, to refine the edges uh, those are amazing feature in a photoshop creative cloud 18 version or 17 version so that's great okay after that go to the downside of the window and new layer with the layer mask and hit the ok button uh, I got a new or uh, just a uh, background or uh, the transparent background of this model okay press the control button select this mask and turn this off and then turn is turn this on after that go to the select again and modify and expand make it 30 pixel and after that go to the edit option and the fill and from the drop down menu content ever make it opposite 100% and make it normal and hit the ok button okay it's taking time to uh, this uh, load this one okay what I have done I have just uh, deleted the model from the from the upper portion or front portion of this one and I just got a new blank uh, layer with that Okay, here is some spot that's why I'll take the spot healing brush tool make it bigger and just okay that's good okay and turning it on and select this uh, background layer again and uh, if you want to make it blur so you have to go to the filter and blur gallery from the blur gallery go to the tilt shift blur and just do settings what I am doing here okay like that okay if you increase the light of the background you can do that by the help of light bokeh and you can make it like that okay and hit the ok button but in this portion you are getting some blurry uh, portion that's why select this mask again selecting this mask uh, make it white and take the brush tool and brush over there in this portion otherwise it will look odd okay you're getting nice effect okay the I'm selecting these two things make it group and after that I'll make it march after making it march I'll go to the filter and then camera filter now I'll 
adjust the light and colors and shadows and saturation uh, everything uh, by the help of the camera or filter okay <coughs> increase the exposure a little bit and highlight I'll down add some shadows give some blacks and whites also okay that's good and from the effects I'll add some vignette for this photo from the camera calibration I'll adjust this one like that okay that's good from the HSL I'll increase the orange luminance the saturation of orange I'll reduce uh, red of saturation increase luminance of red decrease and the green color I'll reduce the green color saturation reduce the green luminance and from the camera calibration primary green I'll make like this and like that okay, that's it and from the highlight uh, basic options I'll reduce the light like that okay that's good and add some clarity and hit the button after that go to the adjustment layer and color lookup and the horror blue color from the horror blue color just reduce the opacity a little bit that's good okay reduce the fill okay that's good previous one and present one and some lights is coming from the left side that's why i'll go to the filter and the place embedded option i have some light collection and i'll add light like that this light i'll make it bigger and taking this one in this side making it more bigger and blending mode in skin mode okay that's good and going to the filter and blur option and uh, Gaussian blur option I'll make it blur like that and hit ok ok and select all the things make it group actually in a group and make it merge after making it merge go to the filter again and the Nick collection color effects pro from the color effects pro i'll apply another filter of uh, color correction or uh, color filter actually okay i'm using the cross processing filter and here are some methods you can use one of them okay this one this one or you can apply any of them i think this one is good and hit the ok button you can control the strength and the shadow highlighted and hit the ok button ok that's nice and select this two layer make it group make it match and just let's see what was the previous one this one is our non edited photo and after edit that you are getting this type of output from this photo okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video ritual if you have any kind of question and query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend till the next video i am ac marip signing out and bye bye